Welcome to the 8th episode of Terrifying Tuesdays. Sit back and enjoy. Number 5. Everything started when I moved into the house of my boyfriend. It was a really nice house. It had 3 floors. Down where the basement usually is are 4 rooms. At the top and middle floors, my boyfriend's grandparents and his uncle lives. So, me and my boyfriend made out of 4 rooms in a basement, a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom. The other room was for stuff and a washing machine. So after one month after moving in, I started feeling weird and I felt like I was alone. I just always had the feeling like someone was watching me, but then I thought that that's because I don't live with my parents anymore, but things got stranger. One day after I was done cleaning up, I hung up the curtains. When I came back, all of them were laying on the floor. I was so confused, but I didn't really want to think about it anymore. About one year after moving in, I don't really know how long it was, but I was sitting in the living room alone and I was playing on my PlayStation when I suddenly felt something touch my leg. I immediately looked at my leg but there was nothing. After that I was really worried. My boyfriend just said that I was probably scared to be alone. Then one day it was pretty late like 11pm. I was walking upstairs to go to the bathroom. When I came down I opened the door to the kitchen and when I took a glance I saw something black standing in a corner. But when I looked again because I was so shocked, it was gone. When I told that to my boyfriend's grandparents, they told me that three people had died in the house. A father, a mother and her son. The father went crazy and killed the both of them and then hung himself in the basement. Ever since they told me that, I'm sure that we have a ghost in our house. Number 4. During a power outage due to a hurricane, my family decided to stay in my great grandmother's old house due to the fact that she had so many bedrooms. I was 12 years old at the time and I was always wary of the house due to its spooky atmosphere and the fact that my great grandmother as well as her husband and her brother-in-law all died there. I was in a bedroom in a corner of the house by myself. The bed was in a corner of the room with a closet situated alongside of the bed with the two windows opposite of the bed in the closet. During the first night there, I woke up in the middle of the night which is pretty unusual for me because I'm a pretty heavy sleeper. I thought I heard rustling outside the windows and started seeing shadows darting past the two windows. After what seemed to be like minutes, the closed closet doorknobs started shaking as if someone or something was deliberately trying to open it. I was frozen to my spot, just staring at the doorknob rattling. When the door suddenly swung open. I darted out of my room, through the house, jumping over a sleeping relative, just trying to escape the house. There is a door connecting to the kitchen to the foyer, which led to a door leading to the outside. The door opened in, but that didn't deter me in my panicked state. I thrust myself at the old door, which in turn busted its rusty hinges and fell to the floor. My 12 year old self couldn't care less. I ran about 1 8th mile to my aunt's house and slept there for the night hoping this all could just be a dream. I woke up at about 7 am and proceeded to walk back to my great grandmother's old house right about when the rest of the family was looking for me. My mother ran up to me and asked me where I was. I told her my story about last night and when I got to the part about the door, she asked me what door. I told her which one and she replied, honey, that couldn't possibly have happened. The door isn't even off its hinges or even damaged. I ran past my family and into the house to find that the door was indeed upright and without so much as a scratch. Ever since that's happened, I've never been there ever again. Number 3. This story happened to my dad. It was 1987 and my dad was 19 years old at the time. He was at his mom's and dad's house in Scottish countryside in a small rural town with about 4 houses within 5 miles of each other. He was visiting from college, all the family were over when there was a knock at the front door which was unusual because it was 10.45 at night. They knew it wasn't a neighbor or a friend as they lived too far away. My dad went to open the door slowly to a white man. To my dad's shock there was blood spilling from his head with a knife in his right hand. My dad froze and stared at the knife. The man said, help, help me now, I might do something stupid. Then my dad just screamed and ran into the kitchen and shouted, there's a man outside with a knife. My granddad then went to go open the door with my uncle and my dad and they looked around but there was nobody there. 
They immediately phoned the police, but they couldn't do anything. A few months later, they moved out. We always talk about this at family meetings, and it's just something we'll never forget. Number 2. This happened to me when I was 11 years old. My family and I went on a holiday to Portugal. We were on the top floor of the hotel where I slept was a single bed with a, with a window with no curtains or, or blinds. It was a bit strange that there weren't any blinds or curtains, but I didn't really think much about it. After a tiring day of traveling, I went to bed. I woke up at around 4am to check the time, but then that's when I saw a face at the window. I screamed alerting my mom and dad while running to the other room where my mom asked me what happened. I told them that I saw a face at the window and my mom seemed to be unimpressed so she checked it out herself. She looked at the window and she saw nothing. She then told me to go back to sleep. The next day my family were having breakfast. I reported to someone at the reception and the man then went on to say yeah. We also had someone claiming that they heard tapping on their window while seeing a face. When we came back to our room, we saw dark prints inside my bed sheet. Number 1. Hi, my name is Chris. I am currently 13 years old and my experience with a paranormal or ghost happened at around winter time of last year. Here's a little backstory needed to know about the situation. I grew up without really seeing my grandparents because my father's side had already passed away and my mother's side only had my grandmother alive. Not seeing them never really bothered me. All that it really affected was at school when they asked me to talk about my grandparents or something like that. So Christmas Eve of 2011, I woke up like any other 9 year old kid would on Christmas Eve. I wouldn't wake up for Santa or anything like that because I never really believed in Santa after I caught my parents with the presents when I was younger. So anyway, I woke up to crying and I thought it was just an intruder. While well, being 9 years old, I wasn't really bright and I decided to go check it out on my own. It was my mother crying because my grandmother had passed away a few hours earlier. Christmas was good but it had such a sad vibe to it. Flash forward about 3 years, 2014 Christmas, there had been an argument about my grandmother's house since her passing. But it was all solved this Christmas which was a huge thing to happen. It made this Christmas one of the best times I could ever remember. So Christmas passed and around January it happened. The whole house deal blew over and that's when we started seeing things. It started with my brother Kenny reporting to my parents that he saw a figure in a white dress watching over my brother John's shoulder. My mother believed that it was a spirit from her mother, my grandma, and I had to blow it off thinking that it was just something that he had just seen and because I didn't really believe in such things. I was playing video games when it was getting too late, like 2.30 in the morning. I had decided that it was time for me to go to bed but I had to use the washroom. So I head to the washroom and I saw it. Exactly like my brother had described. It was a woman facing towards the back door. At this point I ran up the stairs in my bed and I pulled the sheets over me. I sat there and my heart was racing until I fell asleep. I woke up the next morning and I told my family about it. Because I was the youngest and I could tell that they didn't believe me. Even though they said that they did. I can't say that I'm still skeptical about ghosts because I've witnessed one myself. 